morning children this is uh, practical session for chapter 3 in this video we are going to see how to create database how to create table how to create query okay so in mysql uh, you have to run the xam server all these steps are explained in this video how to run XAM server then how to enter into MariaDB everything is explained in this video this is practical question now in this question what have I theory I have covered I am going to explain this practical okay so, uh, in this session, we are going to create database, we create table, and we are going to insert many records. After inserting records, we are going to retrieve the data through select the command. So, for all these, we have to follow some procedure to run the XAM server. The first step is, run the XAM server. Now I am going to explain clearly with uh, many steps. What are the steps we have to follow to run the XAM server. See here, to run the XAM server, we are supposed to have, we are supposed to have, follow these steps. Okay. So first, uh, wherever you have installed the XAM server, in whichever location you have to get a clear idea about the location then only you can open XAM server after getting the control panel of XAM server you have to start Apache and MySQL after starting Apache and MySQL you are supposed to click shell in XAM control panel itself then being in the command form, you have to change the path as cd xam, then cd mysql, then cd bin. This is this is should be your path. Being in that path, you have to type mysql minus u root without semicolon. Then this will take you to MariaDB. After that only you have to type the command use mysql. This is the um SQL command so you have to put semicolon then only you have to start creating database and table okay able to understand now I'm going to explain uh, by following these steps I'm going to create the database and table so first step is uh, starting exam control So start my in my computer the XAM server is installed in I colon. So I'm going to display the control panel. So this is the XAM control panel. Apache and MySQL are available. So click start Apache and MySQL. So the status change detected running. This is the current correct procedure. After seeing this message only, you have to go to shell. So being in this shell, see here, I, as I told the location, you should be very particular about the location. Location is C colon Uh, my location is already I colon XAM is available. So CD MySQL. Then click enter key. Then again CD bin. This is my location. After entering into this correct location, that is the path, I told you to type MySQL minus U root. 
without semicolon. So type as it is. It will um, root to Maria DB. Okay. So after getting this Maria DB, then only you have to type use MySQL. This is a SQL command. So you have to put semicolon. So it will tell database change. Now we are going to create database. What is the procedure to create database? Create. That is the command to create database is create database. Whatever database name you want, you can create. Okay, for example, here in your book, many databases are given. But uh, what database I'm going to give is any database name. Personal details. Okay. Personal details without any gap. Okay. Space in between. So this is also a SQL command. Create. For creating database, I explained in theory session now. Create database. Database name. Database name now at present our database name is personal details. So immediately press entity query okay one row of the set means that indicates your database creator. Next inside the database we are going to create um, table. So table as I said you have to create table structure first. For that create Table. These two words are keywords. My table name is employee. So create table employee. And in that table, what are the fields we are going to give? Whichever field available in your book, page number 81. Uh, table 3.29, I am going to create. In that, four fields are available. First field is EMP ID. This ID will have value as number only. For that number, the data type will be integer. So I am giving integer. So first field name, then data type, comma. Second field name is name. And name data type is varchar. Varchar, you have to specify 255 characters. And the second field name is name. And the data type is character. Then age. Age will also be integer only. So the data type third field name field name is age and the data type is integer. Fourth field name is salary and the data type is integer because everything will be integer only. So this since this is a SQL command, you have to put semicolon. What I can query okay. So zero rows affected. So query okay means your command is uh, right only, correct only. Now table structure is created. How will you create record? For creating record, you have to use insert command. Insert into what is my table name? Employee. Insert into employee values. Now Already table structure is available. Now we have to insert record. For that values alone should be inserted. Insert values. So what is the first field name? EMP ID. In page number 81, for table is created. Given in uh, like a 3.29. In table 3.29. That table only I have created. So I am going to create four records. First record is 101 gram 35,15,000. So all the values should be enclosed within single quote. So first what is the employee ID 101, comma, what is the uh, name Ram that should be enclosed within single quotes, what is the age, age is 35, that should be enclosed within single quotes. What is the salary? 15,000. Everything is given in your book. Same I am explaining. So you can insert 
uh, one record at a time only. So one uh, each and every record should be inserted using this comma. So immediately query OK. Query OK means your uh, table is created successfully. So uh, at this point of time you can check whether the uh, record is inserted or not. For that you have to use select comma. Select star refers all the records. From what is our table name? Table name is employee. Then use semicolon. See how the table is created. So at present only one record I have inserted. Second record select or insert. So create record insert. So each and everything you have to very uh, be very particular. Command insert into what is our table name? Employee insert into employee values. So first you have to create table structure. After that you have to insert the values. Second record is one or two. Given in table three point two. Then what is the name? Gopal. Then age is age is forty one. Then salary is thirty thousand. Okay, so you have to use semicolon. Second record I am inserting. Query okay. So at present the second record is also inserted. So successfully inserted. So we can check whether the second record is select star from employee. See here, two records are inserted. So we have to insert one record by record. So now I am going to use one clause that is where clause. Using that where clause, I am going to explain retrieve the data. Using where clause, I am able to retrieve the data where name is equal to Gopal or where salary is greater than. Uh, twenty thousand like that. So using var clause, I can retrieve the data using uh, give, by giving the condition. So at present, my database name is personal details. My table name is employee. From that, I have created in that table. I have created two records. So in this record, I am going to give select star from employee. Now I am going to give the condition where salary is greater than 20,000. Okay, so what is my condition? Whichever employee is earning greater than 20,000. Okay, will be displayed as a subject. That is called as query. So select start from this is a query. From this query, I can create a subset. So, which uh, record I will be expecting Gopal? Shall we check? See, for out of two records, only one record will have salary greater than 20. That record alone is uh, separated. Okay. So, if I uh, give select Start from employee where where um, age or where uh, name you have to mention the field name name equal to Ram. They have put semicolon. RAM record alone displayed separately. So, where clause is used to mention the condition. Okay. With this, I will end the session. Please go through and learn properly. Thank you.